welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to make one of our favorite drinks. We're going to make uh, cantaritos. Um, normally cantaritos are done in the cantarito cup, right? Yeah. The one that's all clay. We do have clay cups. Um, they just don't look the same. These might look a little bit better. Um, we got these as a souvenir and um, when we went to our trip in Mexico in December. These are from Dolores Hidalgo, Manapato, which is right by San Miguel Leyenda, which is beautiful. Because if you haven't been there, you have to go there. Highly recommended. Um, and we got these at the Museo de José Alfredo Jiménez. Um, so it was pretty cool. And we also got shot glasses that we don't have here, but they match the cups. Anyways, so we're going to make the cantarito. I'm going to have um, my husband, Hugo, that I didn't introduce. Hi, everyone. I'm Joanna. Um, cut up the fruit for us. We need um, a grapefruit, orange, and some limones. And then while you do that, I'm going to prepare the cups for the rim. For the cup, I'm going to do chamoy to wet the rim, and then tahini to um, coat. Ready? These and four? Uh, these and four, these and four, the half. Uh, yeah, half. Pasa me el chamoy, por favor. Thank you. So we absolutely love, absolutely love making these. Um, would you say this is your favorite drink? Yeah. Yeah, right? I agree, it's mine too. Um, let's see, so some chamoy. You could also just use limon to wet the rim, but I feel like it gives it a little bit more flavor if I use chamoy. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people use like that um, chamoy paste I'm interested in trying that. I want to get my hands on some paste. So if you um, know of any, um, let me know. So I can go ahead and order some. I've seen a few, tamarindo, mango. So have you seen those? Is that the one that doesn't deliver? Well, there's several. There's Where one that um, I think is called Chelitas, and that was in California. I hear really good things about that one. Um, and I think they do deliver. I was confusing it the one time that I told you. Yeah. It's um twist twist or twisted candy. I might be saying this wrong. Um, and they're local. They're from Chicago, and I think they're gonna start shipping. If not, they already did. So, which I've been trying to get a hold of them because I my wanna... chef skills. Oh, nice. My knife skills going. Nice. So this you wanna go ahead and put your cup. Out of the way. Nice. Put that over there for me. And then we're going to go ahead and coat it. So besides the fruit, you're going to need obviously tequila and salt, tahini, and um, squirt. We normally prefer the squirt, the Mexico. Yeah. Um, it makes a difference. It tastes a lot better, but we have canned, so that's what we're gonna do. So that looks really pretty. You need this? Uh, yeah, give me that again. So, do you remember the first time you got drunk? Ah, tequila. Ah, tequila? Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I got drunk, but I don't know if it was, there was probably tequila. Yeah? Yeah. What happened? Was it bad? We were, yeah, it was bad. Yeah? We were partying and then I just puked everywhere. Ew. And you it's normally don't bad, puke. And I never puke, so. Like, I think. Well, I was like young. Oh. Like underage. Or like eight. No, not even like 18. <gasps> oh my god. Mm. So bad. Don't drink. <laughs> Alright, so we have these prepared. I'm gonna go ahead and use my cocktail mixer. I'm gonna confess it's my first time making or using any mixer. Um, so I got this off of Amazon and this is the Barillo brand. It had really good re reviews um, and I think it was like the whole kit of what I'm gonna use. I think it was like under 30 bucks, was it? I think so. I think so. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put ice in this cup and then, no I'm not, hold on, before I do that, I'm going to put the fruit in here. I'm gonna muddle it, okay? And this is different than from what I normally do it, but because I just got my kit. She wants to try it. Yeah, I want to try it. So 
Let's see how, how it goes. Normally these, I'd squeeze them, um, but today I'm gonna muddle them in here. I'm gonna do that first, and then I'll add the eyes, and then I'll add the, um, the tequila, and then we'll shake it, and then afterwards I'll put the squirt, ya que esté en el canterito. Let's see how that goes. Corto estos? Más? Uh, in June, tomorrow, it's all... Yeah, maybe do those in another. Están grandes las grapefruits. So I'll start modeling the limones. And I did, I do have my extreme limones. So if this doesn't work out, <laughs> we'll just do the traditional way. But um, yeah, this is hard so far. Normally, like people model like what, like fresas and pepinos, and I'm over here wanting. Así no va. No, así no va. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna do this. You gotta squeeze it. I gotta squeeze it. I'm gonna have you squeeze it. Cause luego me duele la mano. So you can do that. I'm gonna have you squeeze everything here. Where's the little thing? The what? The squeezer. Right here. So the first time I got drunk of tequila, I cannot remember it either. Oh, no, I don't. Before, back in my younger days, my underage drinking days, I was able to drink probably like así de la botella before. <laughs> yeah, because that person like eh, a shot. Um, I cannot drink. I could drink tequila in a drink, but I cannot drink it like on its own, like in a shot. I can't do tequila shots anymore. I never do shots anymore. At all, right? At I could all. do if you, see, if I wasn't be done with shot, it has to be whiskey. That's like the only shot that I could take. Everything else I will drink mixed with something else, but not on it on its own. Um, I did get really drunk in Guadalajara. Of tequila. Of tequila. I feel that like that's a given. Time, you but... have to like when I you, I haven't been to um, Jalisco, but when I I mean I would probably do in shots of tequila even though I normally don't, but I bet the tequila is way better out there, right? So. Was I supposed to squeeze another one in there? Another what? Limon. Another half. Yeah, todo, todo lo que está ahí, you're squeeze in here. Everything? Yeah. Everything. But yeah, I was in Guadalajara with Johnny. That one's big, maybe you have to cut it now. Okay. Shout out to Johnny. El Güero. And uh, we were, uh, yeah, in Guadalajara partying. We were at a badass little club, the Pura Banda. How are the clubs in Mexico? I've never been to a club in Mexico. Well, no. No, it's cool, no. Mm -mm. Well, this was like a banda. Oh, okay. And it was bad. That sounds fun. Todas las bandas like sounded like pros and shit. So they were like more like local bandas. They were little local bandas and parecía like banda limón. Oh really? That shit, el recodo, but I got wasted. It's like you have to though, no? I mean, I guess. Mexico, hay, hay bandas, and what? I feel like like las bandas sound better in Mexico, no? I um, mean, they, those bandas were really good, and they were just like local bands. When we went to Mexico this time in December, and then cuando andábamos este, la vez que fuimos to the tour, we went to like this um. Everything. Like a, yeah, everything. It was a private tour where we left San Miguel de Allende, and then we went to Dolores Hidalgo first. And then we went to Atotonilco, right? Yeah. Guanajuato. And um, when cuando llegamos al pueblo, there was uh, we went to see a church. Like the church is famous for I can't tell you what I forgot. El grito. My, el grito? No, it wasn't that one. That one was Dolores Hidalgo. Oh shit. Cuando sure. fuimos a cuando estaba la quinceañera. ¿Te acuerdas? La quinceañera con la banda. Yeah. Okay, so that was in Atotonilco. Um, but I cannot remember why the church is famous for because my son was like distracting me during that part of the tour. So I don't know, but we went to this church. But at the church, there was a quinceañera and yeah, se iba a acabar, so the quinceañera was walking out con banda en vivo. Oh, that was yeah. badass. I got pictures of that on my Instagram. Yeah, follow oh, him uh, at Hugo Antunes 7. Yes. Um, and then, yeah, that banda sounded like, like you said, like banda limon. La Recoda or some shit. Like, it sounded so good. And I'm like, why didn't I have my quinceañera in Mexico like this? And they're just like little local bands and yeah. bandas. Yeah, so pretty. So, so pretty. I see why people go to Mexico and make parties now. <laughs> so much better. But yeah, in Guadalajara, it was my birthday, so... They were like, 
getting bottles and shit. We got a mess here. Um, like, uh, you got bottle service? Yeah, they got oh. bottle service. It was like $20 for a bottle or something like that. How much is a bottle here? Like, bottle service? Like, if that. I think the cheapest bottle service here is like, what, $150? Or like a cheapest bottle of like vodka? Cheap? Yeah, if that, I don't know. It's been a while since I got bottle service. But yeah, we were with uh, Fregoso. Shout out Fregoso if you're watching. He was showing you around town? Yeah. And it was really nice. So was that your favorite part? Like. Las Bandas? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, we were drinking. We had the VIP service and for 20 bucks. Now, I, don't, I don't remember how much, but I remember it wasn't that bad. Yeah. All right, you got all the fruit in there? Yep. All right, all right. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix, or not mix, add the tequila. Pass me the tequila, please. This big ass bottle from tequila, not from tequila, it's from, what is this, Costco? This is from Costco. It's a Costco brand. Which is pretty good. It's pretty good. And um, if I had to pick one though, I think I would, I'd rather go with Sam's brand of tequila, which is un like another big ass bottle for like 20 bucks. You gotta pick cheap brands. Yeah. Which I feel like with the Cantarito, like you really don't have to go yeah, that you don't, you don't a lot because fancy. there's so much flavor in the fruit. You know, it's not like you're a shot, I would say, yeah, go all yeah. out and do fancy. Um, so we're gonna do two of the ones on top, which I think the you ones on it? top are two ounces. No, I'm gonna have you do it. <laughs> So fill up to the top and we're gonna do, no, we're gonna do more. Cause normally when I do the, the drinks without using the mixer, I use two of those per throw drink. So we need four. Throw it in there? Yeah, throw it in there. Normally maybe we said two shots in so each drink. So four total? So four total, yes. <gasps> yeah. So you want those? And three. Three and then one more. What the heck? <laughs> no. I feel like with two in each string, it's like perfect. You can taste the tequila, but it's not overpowering when you're like making faces each time you drink it. So we'll stick to this. I don't know why this tequila no. makes me like, you don't smell the banana? Banana? I smell banana in there, I don't know why. Just banana. Yeah, that's why I like, I like the Sam's one better. Because this one gives me like banana it smells. Alright, so we have the fruit, we have the tequila. Oh, napkins. He's gonna get napkins. Because he made a mess. Um, and now we're going to add the salt and the ice. So the salt, I eye it, you know. So Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it in here, and what the measure of this is like the measure that I would normally put. So it does have quite a bit of salt because of the citrus, limon, and then the squirt that we're gonna be adding at the end, la toronja. So we'll see if that's good. So not, I'll add a little bit later, but I think that should be fine. And then let's add the ice. You have the ice? I got the ice. Fill it up? Yes, please. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not. It's just, it's different using this cocktail mixer thing. But I bought it because I have a bunch of recipes that, of drink recipes that I want to share with you girls, guys, everybody. Um, so I decided to buy one. I think it uh, I think that should be fine. Yeah. 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 And then I'm gonna have you mix it for us. Okay. It should be nice too. The review said it didn't, but. Good. Like a bartender. Oh my so, god, 
got so cold so fast. So, what? si sale bueno, when you taste it, you're supposed to get the. Yes, if you so, don't make that face, mm, try again. Because this drink is delicious. It is. But yeah, you're supposed to get the feeling, you know? So. It's very uh, thirst quenching, very refreshing. Perfect. It makes like six perfect equal amounts. Alright, and now we're gonna add the spark. But yeah, if you use the Mexican squirt, it tastes better. So. This is pretty good, but I guess during a pandemic, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is what we got. That's good. Okay, now the final part, we're gonna add a little bit of the heat. So pretty. So I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but says la vida no vale nada Jose Alfredo Jimenez true wise and words it's crazy like when we went to the museo like I guess I didn't realize like cuanta canciones famosas he wrote right he wrote like like every good song you hear this was written by him yeah so. and then one cool thing we learned while we were there is that he wasn't a songwriter right like you opened up no, no he wasn't, he wasn't a, like a Musical. Musician. Yeah, there you musical. go. Musical. Musician. Musician. Yeah. Musical. I said musical because I didn't know if it was going to come out. Musician. Musician. No era musical. No era musical. He didn't learn, like, he didn't know how to play any instruments. Um, he just knew how to write songs. Yes. And sing. Yeah. But yeah, the tour guide was like, well, one time they asked him to play a song, uh -huh. like play an instrument. Yeah. José Alfredo. Jose Alfredo, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, oh no. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, let's try it. All right, salud. Salud. It's really good, See? right? Hell it's yeah. so good. Oh my God, look at me. Only thing I would add, I would actually add some more ice in here. Like the actual ice in here? Yeah, right? I feel like it needs that ice. So let's do that. Let's add a little bit of ice. Porque está más frío. Um, other than that, it's perfect. Perfect. It's really good. It's so good. I know I've seen like some videos people make like, the drink in like this big ass cantaro thing. Um, you know what? We actually have something similar to that. Did you know that? No? I don't know that. Um, you forgot probably. Last year, cuando we were... Um, preparing everything for my son's uh, bautizo. It was Mexican theme. We went to Chicago. We went to like one of those garras. I don't remember which one. And we bought one. We bought like a set, ¿no te acuerdas? Oh yeah. Like a cantaro with like unos vasos así, pero um, decorados, floreados, bonitos. Had to look for it. And then I think I'm gonna use that on our next drink video. But I was thinking about that. I think today I was like, wait, I think we have one where we can use. Then I forgot to bring it, so whatever. This shit's good. It's good? Yep. Mm. It's so good. I needed that ice. It's so, so good. The grapefruit, orange, and limon together. Right? It's so, so good. All right. Well, that is it for our video today. Um, we will write our recipe description. Yeah? Yeah, we'll put on it in the, the description. On the description box. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel. We're just getting started, so if you have any ideas for content, um, comment below. Anything else you want to add? Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, and definitely try this recipe out because it is bomb. It's so, so good. You will be drinking this every week like us. It's good. All right. So, Peace. thank you for watching. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. It's so good. Good. Like damn, I did such a good job.